guys so today we are going to be making these lovely petticoats without boning and crinoline all we need is hard net so let's get started the the petticoat is for a mermaid gown so instead of the petticoat to start from the waist is going to be at the new but my mannequin doesn't have a new so that's why i pinned it here so the petticoat is for a mermaid gown it's going to start at the new all right so let's get started so there is a bit calculation of what we're going to be doing so petticoats can be made either with um you can use anything you want. Uh, you can use hard net. You can use um, soft net with crinoline and bunny. But today we're going to be using hard net to be doing that. So this is an example of a hard net. You see, it's very, very hard. So I have about eight yards of hard net here. So let's get to the calculation. So guys, the length of my petticoat is 23 inches. You know, this petticoat I'm making is for a mermaid gown, mermaid wedding gown. So it's going to start from the new or a little bit above the new. It's not the one that starts from the waist. It's this one is starting down the new, okay? So the length of my petticoat is 23 inches. After the dotting and subtracting everything I want to do, I arrive at 23 inches, okay? So... I'm going to be adding 1.5 inches for sewing allowance because I want my petticoat to be in three steps. So for each step is going to have 0 0.5 sewing, sewing 0 0.5 inches sewing allowance. So this that is how I arrived at 1.5. Okay. So if you want your petticoat to be four inches, four steps or five steps, you can use you can keep adding 0 0.5 to it. So at the end of the day, I have 25.5 inches for the length of the petticoat. So I'm going to be dividing this 25.5 inches into three equal parts. So I arrived at 8.5. So I'm going to cut a bunch of 8.5 inches length of a petticoat and um, the width depends on how many yards I have, okay? So I'm going to be cutting equal 8.5 inches all through. And at, after that, I'm going to show us and we'll see the next step to follow. So come with me. Hi guys, so I've gone ahead to cut out my 8.5 inches. I had it in many layers and um, till my hard net got exhausted. So all I need to do now is to start pleating all this together. The first one is going to be having... A much more bigger plate than the other ones because I wouldn't want it to be too bulky at the top okay so I'm going to be using big plates for the first round and I'll be pleating them to the length of my new which is 43 okay so let's do that now so guys I'll start plating now and we'll see how far we go Okay, so you just give it big pleats. Just pleat as you go. So guys, I'll continue to do this. I don't want to bore you with it. I'll continue to do this till I get to the length of my um round nail, 43 inches. So that's 43 inches. After I have, I've gotten that, I'm going to start splitting this part again. And at the end, I'll show you guys what I've come up with. Okay. Hey guys, so this is the beautiful petticoat that we just made. All I did was to gather it round. The first step and the second step, 
I did big plates. But here, even though it's big, but it's much. I added much because I wanted to be very full. You can see how full it is. So this would determine how full the base of your mermaid wedding gown is going to be. The more fuller it is, the more your wedding gown is full and the more smaller it is it will determine how small the the net the mesh around the bottom of the jewelry dress is going to be so guys if this video was helpful kindly give it a thumbs up share my videos like comment and wait for the wedding gown see you guys later bye